evangelist Matthew Lee. Welcome to my YouTube channel. The other day, while I was taking these generals rankings off of my jacket from last week's message, the ambassador, God gave me a certain revelation that I want to share with you today. There are so many people out there who spend their entire lives running after things like this, running after higher rank or higher position in their job, running after trying to climb the corporate ladder, running after awards and accomplishments and trophies in sports and stuff like that. And these people so often plan their entire day and their entire life around working towards this goal, working towards getting these ranks and stuff like that. And what I want to show you today is that people who spend their entire lives running after these things have actually achieved nothing at the end of the day. These things are worthless. You might as well throw them away. As far as eternal things are concerned, they've accomplished nothing. And I want to show you scripture concerning this. And that is also why I've chosen my title today, It Was All For Nothing. So the first scripture I want to show you is in the book of James, and it is James chapter 4 verses 13 to 16. Look here, you who say, today or tomorrow we are going to a certain town and we will stay there a year. We will do business there and make a profit. How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like the morning fog. It is here a little while, then it is gone. What you ought to say is, if there is, if the Lord wants us to, we will live and do this or that. Otherwise, you are boasting about your own pretentious plans, and all such boasting is evil. So from the scripture, we can see that these kind of people spend their lives planning ahead, but the Lord is saying that we should not be planning ahead because we don't know what our lives will look like tomorrow. You could spend your entire life trying to achieve these things and die tomorrow not having have achieved them, and you will have missed out on everything in life. You'll have missed out on the blessings of the Lord. You will have missed out on things like family and friends and so on and so forth. So the Lord says planning ahead like this and boasting about these kind of things is evil. And I want to show you another scripture from the book of Psalms. This is Psalms 127 verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, the labors labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the gods stand watch in vain. So as we can see from this as well, unless it's the Lord's will, it's in vain at the end of the day. We've achieved nothing eternally. So you might ask me, what can we do that will give us some form of eternal achievements, eternal rewards? Well, the first answer is quite simple, and that lies in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. We all know the scripture. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that all who believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Okay, so there's your answer right there. If you want to have some form of eternal, but do something for eternity that's worth something, that's the first thing, is we need to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior so that we can first of all have eternal life. And that's not to say that if you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you won't have, you won't have eternal life. You will still have eternal life. It'll just be in a much less desirable place, as the following scripture says from Mark 16, verse 16. And anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved. They will go to heaven. But anyone who refuses to believe will be condemned. So, as we can see from the scripture, if you don't believe, you'll be condemned. So you'll still have eternal life, just in a much less desirable place. So you can still run after all these things, accomplish nothing, not believe in the Lord, and still have eternity, but you're not going to be in a very happy place. I can guarantee you that. So that's the first thing, is to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And the second step of what we can do to achieve something that means something, to do something that means something as far as eternity is concerned, is to follow the plans of the Lord, to follow the Lord's plans for our lives. And I can guarantee you, if you follow the Lord's plans for your life, instead of following your own plans, running after these achievements and accomplishments that mean nothing at the end of the day, I can tell you, here on earth, and for the rest of eternity, you will have a lot more fulfillment following the Lord's plans for your life. You will achieve much more and you will walk in the blessings and prosperity of the Lord. So what does the Bible say about this if we don't follow the plans of the Lord and if we continue to follow our own pretentious plans as um, the scripture from James earlier said? Well, the answer lies quite, e quite simply in Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7 verses 21 to 23. Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. 
on judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and performed many miracles in your name. But I will reply to you, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who breaks God's laws. So as we can see from the scripture, it is imperative that we follow God's laws and have a relationship with Jesus. It's not good enough that we just accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and continue living our lives trying to accomplish these things that mean nothing. No, we must continue our lives forward, doing the things that God has told us to do and following his plans for our lives because that is what will give us the rewards at the end of the day. That will be the ultimate accomplishment for our lives. That is where we get the real blessings and the real rewards, not just in this life, but also for the rest of eternity. Rest of eternity. So we must first come to the Lord to achieve something. And then once we've come to the Lord, we must follow um, his instructions and we must follow his plans for our lives. And his instructions include going out and preaching the gospel to all creation, making, back to, um, making disciples of all nations. That's one of his instructions to us. That is one of the things that we need to do to enjoy his eternal rewards, to enjoy the ultimate accomplishment for our lives, is to follow out his plan for our lives and do the will of the Father. So I hope this message has been an encouragement to you. And if you are one of these people who have been doing these things and achieving nothing at the end of the day, you know, even though in human eyes you may be achieving some form of success, I want to encourage you today to, if you haven't met the Lord yet, turn to the Lord, make the decision to turn to Him today. And then once you've turned to Him, start asking Him, Lord, what are your plans for my life? What do you want me to do, Lord? Not my will, Lord, but your will be done. So I want to encourage you to make that decision today. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.